Welcome back everyone. Temple homeowners on Philly Lane say a nearby subdivision under construction has caused flooding issues in their neighborhood. It's part of a six fix we're currently working on. The city of Temple now tells Six News they're prepared to take legal action if the drainage decision criteria is not met. Six News reporter Adriana Alexander has been on this six fix for the last few days now and is live at that subdivision with more details. Adriana. Chris Lindsay, since construction began on this subdivision a year ago, residents on the adjacent street on Philly Lane say the flooding has caused major damage to their homes. Now, the city is aware of this issue and they plan to do whatever it takes, like you said, even taking legal action to get this issue resolved. We've been getting runoff into our yards. It's decimating our lawns. Ever since this new subdivision has been in development, it's been a flooding nightmare for homeowners feet away. And this is just the second spring since they started the developments. So it's at a total loss. I have swamp in my backyard now instead of healthy green St. Augustine. Temple spokesperson Allison O'Connor told me the plot was bought by Hopi Development Incorporated and the city hired Turley Engineering to design and construct the new subdivision. O'Connor says Turley officials submitted their construction plans and drainage report to the city. Draining design criteria are in place to ensure that post-development runoff rates do not exceed pre-development runoff rates. But according to homeowners, this criteria was not met at all. It's, it's uh, hard to find anybody who's actually responsible for this. When I, when I go over and try to find somebody or talk to somebody, I get nowhere. Uh, no one is aware of what's going on. Because the level of the subdivision was raised about four feet, rainwater finds its way directly into the backyards and homes of at least 20 people's homes on Philly Lane. To help alleviate the situation, O'Connor says the city is now evaluating legal options the city may have to ensure that the rights and interests of the affected residents are adequately protected where the city development standards have not been met. What we want is to have a drain, like, uh, like I mentioned, some type of cement drainage ditch that will actually filter and drain the water out and away from the homes. They have built one like like I'm speaking to about on the other side of the project here, but they have uh, not had any inkling to want to put one back here. Now the city is working to um, develop a conversation between the engineers and the construction workers here to some sort come to some sort of conclusion and make sure this issue is resolved and these people can live in their homes safely for now in Temple Adriana Alexander six news. All right. Thank you so much Adriana. And I said yesterday you but state yeah. law you cannot put your watershed on other people's property. Impervious cover is a huge yeah. issue when all this development starts to go in and there's nowhere for the water to go Andy.